Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be a little bit disturbing, but two teenage girls have become instant celebrities after a video of them viciously attacking each other went viral. So a word of warning, this does contain some strong images, so just let's send the kids out the room now. So are these sort of internet sensations glamorising violence to our kids? Parenting expert Karen Phillip and Angela Mollard are here. So, Ange, look, first of all, as a parent, and, and I would say you're not a conservative parent. You're a very no. savvy parent. You, your kids get on the internet. But this is really disturbing. Yeah, this makes me feel incredibly sad. I think that, you know, we're seeing our teenagers garner notoriety by doing this sort of thing. They're not doing worthwhile things. They're not doing it yet. Yeah, some of them are. But what we're seeing is people following them for this. And it just... You wonder whether our, this generation is just calculating um, their self-worth on likes, not love or friendship or doing things that are worthwhile. This is what they want. They want that sort of attention, and that makes me, you know, I'm really despondent about As you can see in this footage here, I mean, here they are continuing this fight, which the Karen's is quite disturbing. It's an internet sensation. What disturbs me about that, not as the, the fact that those two girls are fighting, which I don't think they should be doing, but there seem to be several people in that video yes, and then uploading it. Yeah. So it's like this is a calculated thing. Mm -hmm. Now there are even remixes. Karen, I'll come to you in a second. Look, so the internet's now done this too. Can you find it? A shovel. Good thinking. Look, the internet notoriously has a very strange sense of humour. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But relieving the mixes out of this, are we glamorising violence for teens and especially young women? I think we are. We certainly seem to be. There's, there's a lot. Look, our children are subjected to violence in the news. They're subjected to violence on uh, video games. They're subjected to violence on YouTube. They're subjected to it everywhere, unfortunately. But glamorising, <clears throat> pardon me, like, like it seems to be, in these type of uh, videos is incredibly mm. disturbing. And, and also that they're manufacturing, I think there's an element of manufacturing in this. I wonder, you it know, it's very um, interesting that there's someone there with a mobile phone at, at, on lots of these occasions, it gets yes. uploaded. It's the instant track to fame. You don't have to do anything worthwhile. I, I think that's the worrying thing. Yeah, and, and what's the me, and it's not the fact that it's in media and that media is you know, always brought into this, but the fact that this is the new form of media. YouTube is a free media, and we can't, you know, we can police our kids on video games. We can mm -hmm. police what they watch if they're in the room with us. But if they're just there on their phones, on their smartphones, on their tablets, this is highly accessible. Is YouTube somehow responsible Ooh. to try and police this even stronger? Yes, they certainly are, and YouTube have very clear terms and And Facebook, conditions. I should say, too, because I know it's yeah, goes for, around yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. And, and I think we've, there's been discussion in regards to Facebook and what they're responsible for. But YouTube have terms and conditions where you are not permitted, apparently, to post anything that, is, that displays gratuitous violence or anything at all like that. Now, I believe this video was taken down mm -hmm. from YouTube. I don't know how long it was on before it was taken down, but I think they probably need to get onto it a little more than and a little faster than what they do now. I think they deliberately don't. Look, they get the attention for it, they get the advertising that's associated with it, with the number of hits right. that they get. It's a commercial business decision not to move that quickly. But sooner or later, like any commercial business, though, they are going to have to take responsibility, Ange. But let's roll it back to the, the cause of this in the first place. You know, girls who are, you know, young, they look like they're 16 in this. You know, what is... What's happening in our society here which is leading to mm. this behaviour? Not just this confrontational violence, but like uh, violence that I want to film and put up. Yeah, well, look what we've seen, you know, in the papers this week with two grown men. I think we can't just contain it to girls. I think we can't just yeah. contain it to teenagers. It's a wider issue, violence. Why are we not teaching our children to deal with conflict and resolution by communication? And why is that not happening? Is it what they're seeing at home? Are we so busy that we're not now having those conversations? You know, I, I spend a lot of time with my daughters, they're 13 and 10, showing them worthwhile things on on and so upworthy you know the site yeah, upworthy, I love upworthy. brilliant site it shows people doing wonderful things yeah, i try to counter it to show them good stuff because i know they're seeing this and we also have discussions where once a week they have to show me something and, that's alarmed yeah them. and Karen, it is sorry to interrupt you but it is a thing like and I, we do have to go but parenting seems to have changed and, well i mean do we need to be stronger and, oh, and do we need to yes. maybe educate parents more in this yes, new world absolutely we do we really do. It comes from home. Even though they're 16, they do need us to take on some sort of self-responsibility. It is learnt from home. It is learnt from parents. 
if parents are failing to teach their children that, how are they going to learn? How are they going to learn control over themselves and their behaviours? Absolutely. Ladies, thank you so much for today. We want to know what you think at home. You've already gone to our Facebook. You've been very passionate, continue to do so. But has the internet desensitised our kids? Sonia?